Good morning, Angela. Morning, Doctor. Um, so I had a look at your x-ray and your examination, and I believe you have scoliosis and you need surgery soon. Scoliosis, Doctor? What is scoliosis and why do I have it? What is scoliosis? Scoliosis is the lateral curvature of the spine associated with rotation. This means that the back is curved to the side and sometimes twisted. How does one get it? It can either be a structural abnormality of the spine, which the causes are idiopathic, which means the cause is not known and this is the most common cause or it is congenital meaning it has been present since birth or it's because of paralysis or neurofibromatosis if not structural then the abnormality is not with the spine but with either the posture or position of the limbs sciatica a hip contracture other conditions that can result in scoliosis include, but are not limited to, neuromuscular and metabolic disorders. Um, doctor, I now understand what scoliosis is, but isn't there an alternative to surgery? Do I really need surgery? How is scoliosis managed? Scoliosis is managed according to which type of scoliosis it is. If it is postural or non-structural scoliosis, then you treat the underlying cause. If it is structural scoliosis, then the treatment depends on various factors. This includes what caused the scoliosis, how bad is the scoliosis, what your skeletal maturity is or how old your bones are, how the scoliosis has affected you, so this can be cosmetically, or you could have a poor body image, so it's affected you psychologically. You have difficulty breathing, you have pain, or you have a neurological deficit. So the various ways in which structural scoliosis can be managed is firstly, watchful waiting. So here you see the doctor every four months to check for any progression. The doctor will examine you and do a few x-rays to check the curve. Secondly is conservative management. Here the doctor will help you manage your pain with analgesia and will recommend a few exercises to help make it easy to bend your spine. And lastly the doctor can give you a brace. The last form of treatment is surgically. So here you'll get a corrective surgery which includes instrumentation and fusion of your spine. So why an operation for scoliosis? Firstly, if your curve is more than 40 degrees, when your bones have stopped growing or you've reached your skeletal maturity, if you have difficulty breathing or if you have pain. Okay, doctor, I understand, but what should I bring for the surgery and what can I expect in preparation for the surgery? Ideas of what you can bring to the hospital when you come for your surgery. These include, but are not limited to, essential toiletries, comfortable wear, a list of your home medications, a book to read, or something to occupy your time and a cell phone charge. When you get to the hospital, what needs to be done before the operation? Well, investigations that need to be done to test how fit you are to undergo surgery include an electrocardiogram, also known as an ECG, a chest x-ray and some blood tests. Last but not least, Angela, you have to take care of your back when you're at home. So there's a few exercises and a few things that you have to do that will talk to you about. How to take care of your spine after the surgery. The five important aspects to address include your general measures, 
wound care, medication and physical activity. Starting off with general measures. If you are given a brace, use it as told by a doctor. Wear your compression stockings to prevent clots from forming in your legs. Do not use tobacco products. These include cigarettes, chewing tobacco or e-cigarettes. If you do need help quitting, you can call the National Council Against Smoking at 011-720-3145 or email them at quit at iafrica.com or you can visit www.cancer.org.za slash 10 useful tips to help you quit smoking. Lastly, keep up with all follow-up visits as told by a doctor. Wound care. Wash your hands with soap and water before you change your bandage. If you can't use soap and water, use hand sanitizers. Change your bandage as told by a doctor. Keep your surgical cuts clean and dry. And check your surgical cuts and the area around it every day for any redness, swelling or fluid and go to your day hospital if you notice any of these. And for medication, you may take over-the-counter and prescription medicines only as told by your doctor. Do not drive for at least 24 hours if you received a sedative. Do not drive or use heavy machinery while taking prescription pain medicine. If you are prescribed an antibiotic, Take it exactly as told by your doctor. Physical activity. Ask your doctor what activities are safe for you because you need to rest and protect your back as much as you can. Follow instructions from your doctor about how to move. Use good posture to help your spine heal. Do not lift anything that is heavier than 4 kilograms and do not lift anything over your head. Do not twist or bend at the waist until your doctor says it's okay. Avoid any pushing or pulling motions. Do not sit or lie down in the same position for long periods of time. And ask your doctor what kinds of exercises you can do to make your back stronger. Get help immediately if your pain is getting worse you have chest pain, you have trouble breathing, or you start to have a cough. In my miselo, guess it cause a scoliosis. Uku goba ekalen wet hambolom all. No kuji cheka kwalo. Lendo iteta ukuba umkolo ukobele ekalen kwaye uji jekile. Umdu, uifumana njani iskoliosis. Umdu, uzalwa nayo, okanyi, aifumana ngenga yezi nye izi kulu, ezi mulu mene na matambo. Unyango lwe skoliosis, lukako, okanyi, ukado lwe ngubeka pambili ye skoliosis. For Daedalang and Afrikaans, Skoliose is the lateral kromming van die rugraat in verband met rotatie. Dit beteken dat die rug na een kant gebeig is en somtijds gedraai. Hoe kry een mens dit? Mens is eerte met dit gebore of as gevolg van ander siektes of probleme met die geramte. Behandeling is om net te wacht en kyk of dit verbeter of een operatie om die rugraad weer recht uit te maak. Thank you so much, doctor. Now I know more about scoliosis, what to expect for the surgery, and how to take care of myself after the surgery. Thank you. It's a pleasure.